there's storytelling in us all. In all stories, there is a transfer of energy between storyteller and listener. Louise, a key facilitator in the Derry Playhouse I Remember team, attends a commemoration march for Bloody Sunday in 2016. The I Remember Project's primary goal is to create an innovative and accessible methodology for the exploration of contemporary history, particularly in conflict and post-conflict regions. This documentary will focus on how this methodology was adopted and delivered through the Derry Playhouse, with a specific focus upon the Northern Irish Troubles. The key method in the I Remember Project is the delivery of intergenerational storytelling where elder and senior citizens share first-hand accounts and memories of their experiences of the Troubles. To interview these seniors and creatively interpret their memories and their shared stories, a creative team of young people will be trained in skills such as filming interviews, active listening, storytelling techniques, so that thereafter young people can give creative expression to the stories shared and the memories offered. These recorded interviews and the creative interpretations are then uploaded onto a new online platform called The Land. The I Remember Ideal through this process also preserves memories and first-hand accounts that might otherwise have been lost. What you're about to see and are watching is the documentation of this process. Here, in preparation for the real thing, students conduct mock interviews with I Remember facilitators Liam and Louise. They are trained and upskilled in techniques related to the filming and scripting of interviews. Students are also upskilled in aspects such as active listening. We all good to start? Yeah, good. Okay. Hello, Liam. How are you? I'm fine. Change. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm just going to start with a few questions. Um, to start off, I'd like to find out more about your background. Um, where were you born and in what year? What was your, or like, what was your childhood aspirations? What, what did you want to be when you grew up? Mm, that's a very good question. I suppose... Here students reflect upon the training and offer feedback to Louise. Because if someone's nervous, you can be more at ease if they're at ease. And if you're on, if the interviewer or the interviewees, it, it's sort of it's an exchange of energy. And if you're going to open up and talk to someone, like some of the questions, um, I'd, I had no preconceived idea of what I was going to say at all. Now students are offered with Liam some guidance as to the narrative voice and how it relates very specifically to the arc of a story told. Everything we've looked at had a, had a different narrative voice to it. We had the we, we had the third person godlike, we had the I, we had the slut narrative of Jake and Chucky, we had the poetic address towards the end, we had Maya Angelou deciding to give her own voice and half and half her book over to a commentator and then we had her distilling it out of the opening. So there's so many creative ways but none of that ever lost the narrative thread of the tale being told. Here students engage and train in the art of storyboarding. A key driver in the I Remember Ideal is to allow the young people the space to discuss the creative process and how they may interpret key moments in the original source interviews. See the sky, right? And um, it's kind of like a movement thing, so like they're like holding hands or whatever, and this is like the sun setting and stuff. But like both yes, it was. Um, I think just even that, little things like that, and the combination of light is like as you said, with like the spotlights and stuff. Even if it was like you, it was fully lit to see your parents, and then maybe if it either just it's either it's went it's out, like their light is gone, or faded out, and it was just maybe a solo light on the little girl that would. You know what I mean? It's all about making a statement with a general image and the suggestions I think are really great. Yeah, like, and like you can do something to show that like James is choosing not to take mm. that path anymore. Now, with the training for interviews completed, the interviews proper yeah. begin. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming today. We're just going to ask you a few questions about the troubles. Yeah, 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 it's fine. 
What was it like for you growing up in Northern Ireland? My life, my early childhood memory growing up in Northern Ireland was fantastic. With real interviews completed, students reflect on how they went. Perhaps on what could have been changed, what could have been done better, what could have been left out. Something about James previously, like something that, like, like a proper story, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like a proper story about him, yes, and then how this story changed him. Like, yeah. Could it be the story of his change? Yeah. Like, I think that's why we need to like, make sure that like, the brutality of it is kind of clear. We have to be, we have to be balanced. Yeah, but so it's not too horrific. Yeah, but I mean balanced in that there was there was injustices both sides. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah. I feel like this feels very structured. So when we came in at one o'clock, it was very conversational, yeah, but we got work done, mm-hmm. so it was easy. And um, maybe the question because maybe we felt less timid to speak out. Like mm-hmm. we didn't have to take turns. Like oh, that would be really good. So maybe the question process just for the last interview follow the same structure. Yeah. The process of creative interpretation is central and students get together, discuss and table ideas as to how they may offer particular creative manifestation to the interviews and the stories that they have conducted and heard. Mm. How do you think you could how do you think you could impose portrait upon this? Well James Arnold sort of had a wee bit of like the way he spoke himself. He he he's very he's very yeah, right. and it's like yeah, at the end, have a dramatic reading, and it's a poem about mm. everything. Yeah. Like yeah. there are stories at the end. Yeah. We were caught in the crossfire of conflict. Or something. One idea that emerges is a song, whereby particular moments, particular phrases from the original first-hand interviews are taken, turned into lyrics, put to music, and sung. I don't know if that worked, you can check.
final recorded song is played back, and its power and its passion is obvious as Louise becomes emotional. <laughs> I feel like a proud mama. <laughs> for me hearing all, everybody's stories and it's been such a passionate sort of like story everybody has a passionate story and it's it's been so wonderful to be yeah. part of it. 